guys, welcome back to Toy Transformations. Today we have a super cool transformation for you. We're gonna make a Poopsie Slime Surprise Family with these Barbie dolls. We're gonna make their hair, corn and outfits. We're also gonna paint their skin. So come with me, let's get started. We're gonna start with the mom. We're gonna use this super cute pink felt to make a skirt for her. So let's draw a wavy line like this one with a permanent marker. Then we're gonna cut along the line with scissors. Remember to ask for the help of a grown-up whenever you're using the scissors. Now we're gonna start making her top. So we're gonna mark a very, very long rectangle on this extra cute pink felt right over here. And then we're just gonna cut it out with scissors. Which Poopsie Surprise Unicorns do you have, guys? Tell me in the comments below! Then we're gonna need a thin strip of this fluorescent yellow fabric. So we're gonna draw a dashed line over here. Good! And then we're gonna cut along the lines. My favorite part of the Poopsie Surprise Unicorns is the hair. It's so colorful and shiny. Now we're gonna paint these Barbie shoes with metallic silver paint. Now we're gonna cut a strip out of this cute white lace. This fabric will make the outfit look amazing. Be careful with your fingers while using the scissors. Once we've cut out the strip, we're gonna sew it to this furry fabric to make the mom a super cool diaper like the ones our poopsie dolls have. Now we're gonna sew the strip of yellow fabric to the edge of the pink felt with a thin piece of thread and a needle. Ask a grown-up to help you with this. You can also use a thimble to protect your fingers. Then we're gonna take a small chunk of air dry clay and we're gonna mold it with our fingers to make the horn. Our family is gonna look really, really cute. Then, with a modeling tool like this one or a needle, we're gonna make the texture of the horn. We'll continue with the ears now. We're gonna make them with air dry clay as well. So grab a small chunk and shape it into a triangle with your fingers. We're gonna use another modeling tool to make the interior part of the ears. We basically just have to mark a smaller triangle inside the ear like so. Once we have the horn and ears, we're gonna start attaching them. So here's the horn. And next we'll continue with the ears. We use clear glue for this. And now we're gonna paint all of our doll skin with this shade of blue. We mix different kinds of acrylic paints to get the skin tone of the Poopsie Surprise Unicorns. Now that we've painted almost everything, we're gonna paint the horn with metallic silver paint. As you can see, we just left the details of her face unpainted. We're gonna paint her hands with the same silver paint we used for the horn. You might need to apply more than one coat of paint in order for the color to take. Now we're gonna start painting all the details. So first, we're gonna start with her eyebrows. We're gonna use baby blue acrylic paint and a modeling tool to make them. We're also gonna paint the inside part of her ears with the same blue paint and a modeling tool or an extra thin brush. And we're gonna add two safety pins to make this skirt look like a diaper. Remember that all the Poopsie Surprise Unicorns have diapers. Then we'll make the details with white puffy paint. She's gonna look so cute. Now let's make the details of her top. We're gonna use black, blue, yellow, white and green puffy paint for this. First, we're using black to make the face of this little cut. And now we're just finishing the details with green. It looks cute, right? One of the most characteristic things about the Poopsie Surprise Unicorns is that their skin is so shiny. So we're gonna get this effect by applying clear nail polish all over the skin. And now we're gonna cover the horn with clear glue because we're gonna sprinkle on some silver glitter which is shaped like stars. And that will be it, guys. <laughs> she looks so pretty, guys. I love her horn. It looks so cute with all those glitter stars. But her top is definitely my favorite part of her outfit. It's so cool! <laughs> Let's start with the Poopsie Unicorn Dad. We're gonna draw the template to make him a super cool hoodie on this indigo blue fabric. And then we're gonna cut along the dashed line. 
Remember to be careful with the scissors and always ask your grown-up for help while using them. Now we're going to use these shorts that we had among Ken's things as a stencil to trace a new pair onto this black fabric. Remember to use a bright color to trace them. After that, we're going to cut along the lines with a pair of scissors. Remember to ask your grown-up to help you with this step. Now we're going to start sewing everything together. So first, we're going to start with the pants. We're going to need a needle and black thread for this. And then we're going to start sewing along the edge of the sweatshirt. Remember to use a thimble to protect your fingers. This sweatshirt is going to look so cool, you'll see. And now we're going to draw a dashed line here so that we can cut along it to make a strip out of this black fabric. Now we're going to grab these Ken sneakers and we're going to paint them with the same silver acrylic paint we've been using all along. We're going to cut the strip of black fabric in three and we're going to sew the new pieces to the sleeves to make the cuffs and to the neckline to make the color of the sweatshirt. With a small chunk of air dry clay, we're going to make the horn, just as we did with the first one. And same as we've done before, we're going to make the texture of the horn with a modeling tool like this one or a needle. We're just going to mark a line like so. And then we're going to use two balls of air dry clay about this size to make the ears. Mold the clay into a triangle with your fingers. Before the clay dries, we're going to make the details of the ears with a modeling tool. This will also help us to separate the inner part of the ears. Now we're going to start to glue all these pieces onto his head. First, we'll put the horn right on top of his head with some clear glue. And then we're going to touch the ears. And we're going to paint the front part of his hair, the quiff, with a metallic green acrylic paint. You might need to apply more than one layer for the color to take. Then we're gonna continue painting his hair, but just a stripe with black paint. Then we're going to use a little bit of sky blue to paint the hair between the ears and the horn. So as you must know, we need to use a thin brush for this. As you can see, we continued alternating colors. So now we're gonna use metallic lilac paint. Remember that the hair of the Poopsie Unicorns is super colorful. Now it's time to paint his skin. We made this shade of lilac mixing white with a little bit of purple. Make sure not to paint his eyes and eyebrows. And then we're gonna paint the horn with the same metallic silver paint we used for Barbies. Make sure not to leave a single white spot. And we're also going to paint his hand silver. There. We're going to use the same metallic lilac paint on a modeling tool to make the eyebrows. We're just going to cover the original ones with paint. They're going to look the same. And then we're going to paint the inner part of his ears with the same paint as well. To start with the details, we're going to put a drop of this puffy paint here. Then we're going to add a little bit of orange. We're trying to make a rainbow. After the yellow, green, and baby blue, I'm going to add this bluish purple. And now we're going to add four safety pins, two for each side of his shirts, to make them look like a diaper, like an old diaper to be honest. And we're going to apply black puffy paint to the edges of the shirts to make them look perfect. Now we're going to make his skin shine like all the poopsie unicorns. So we're going to apply a thin coat of clear nail polish all over his skin. And for the final touch, we're going to apply a coat of clear glue all over his horn to spring silver star-shaped glitter onto it. Are you ready to see the final result? Here is our super special and unique Ken Poopsie Surprise Unicorn. I love his sweatshirt. I wish I could have one like that for myself. And his hair looks so awesome too. It's time to start with Chelsea. We're gonna draw a pair of shorts with a black marker onto this red fabric. If you have a pair of Chelsea shorts, you can use them as a stencil. Then we're gonna fold the fabric in two and we're gonna cut along the dashed line with scissors. This might be a little tricky because the shorts are so small, so ask for the help of a grown-up. And now we're gonna sew both parts together with a thin piece of thread and a needle. 
Remember to leave a gap for the waist and the gaps for the legs on sew. Then we're gonna use this Carolina blue fabric to make a tank top for our Chelsea Poopsie Unicorn. We're gonna draw the tank top with a permanent marker. There. Then we're gonna fold the fabric in two and we're gonna cut along the dash line with scissors. Very good. And now we're gonna sew both pieces together along the edge. We're gonna put the furry side facing inside. Cause once it's sewn, we're gonna turn it inside out to hide the stitches. Then we're gonna make the horn with a small chunk of air dry clay. You already know the process! And then we'll grab our modeling tool and we're gonna make the texture. We're gonna grab more air dry clay again, but this time we'll use it to make the ears. Remember, we need two triangles like this. And now we're gonna use a modeling tool like this one to make the details of the ears. We just need to mark a triangle in the inner part of them. So Chelsea already has beautiful hair, but we're gonna make it look even better by attaching a lot of colorful extensions. First, we're gonna start with red, and then we'll continue with all the colors of the rainbow. After we've added all the hair, we're gonna use more clear glue over here and then we're gonna attach the horn we previously made. And now we're gonna do the same for both ears. Now we're gonna paint her face with white acrylic paint. She has a lighter skin tone than the rest of them. Paint everything except for the eyes. Now we're gonna paint the horn gold. She's gonna look so cute and shiny. And we're also gonna paint her hands silver. And her feet will be silver as well. Now it's time to start with the details of her face. So first, we're gonna paint her eyebrows with gray acrylic paint and a modeling tube. We'll also outline her eyes and paint her eyelashes. And with the same shade of gray and the same modeling tool, we'll paint the inner part of the ears. Then we're gonna paint all her body with metallic white acrylic paint. This will make her skin look as if we had applied highlighter all over it. We're gonna add now safety pins for her shirts to make them look like a diaper. We're gonna need two of them, one on each side. Next thing we'll do is apply baby blue coffee paint on the edges of her top. This is gonna give her a very special look. But that's not the only detail we'll add to her top. We're also gonna use yellow puffy paint to paint the shooting star she has right in the middle. First, we'll make this star and then the rest of it. And we're also gonna apply puffy paint to the edges of the diaper. But this time, it'll be Cerise pink puffy paint. And finally, we'll apply a coat of clear glue all over the horn and then we're gonna sprinkle on some star-shaped glitter. Come with me to see the final result. Here we have Chelsea, guys, with her super long and colorful hair. She looks so pretty with this outfit. I think her outfit is actually my favorite. It's so awesome. Well, guys, this was all for today. Here's our super cute Boopsie Slime surprise family. They look so cool. Here's a mom with all her little details the top, her diaper, and wow, her skin looks so magical! Next, we have the baby with her amazing hair and her diaper as well. And last but not least, here's the dad! Please tell us in the comments below which one was your favorite! Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel! Ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos! We love you all so much! Bye!